Hey guys, we're live on the moon. And it's high, high adventure. Early, early, early Sunday morning, just after midnight on January 15th, 2012. And the moon uh, just kind of peaked up over the horizon. It, it, it's a harvest moon, and I decided I'd I try to get it because the colors are, sometimes these harvest moons will bring out the color and I wanted to see what it would look like and you you can see the hue and everything. It's it's a beautiful moon. Uh, I, I intend uh, on doing a little segment here at the beginning just to show you the coloration and and then I'm going to uh, uh, kind of go in close with a Barlow on on uh, that mountain range uh, which is actually the the what they call the Apennines I call them the Alps and isn't that beautiful guys absolutely stunning don't you feel like it's high adventure this is just like you know you're you're in a ship like Christopher Columbus and you're heading to the West Indies and uh, everything is so exciting because you don't know what's around the next corner. And every time we come up here to this moon, it's just a new adventure. Because this shadow line, this shadow line does uh, move all over the place. And every time it moves, it's a different, it's a different image. Uh, I wanted to write off, let me turn the... Uh, autofocus on uh, I wanted to show you that my star base is not a star anymore uh, which, which tells me that uh, the and I told you never in a million years would you see this again uh, and there is uh, Aristillus uh, centered right there and uh, and I'll go in there a little bit later with a uh, a close-up. You can see it's it's not crisp, as crisp as 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 it should be, because of the fact that uh, you know we just came up over the horizon and it's a lot of atmospherics. And you can see what I'm going to look at a little bit later when it gets higher in the sky. That, that's the Apennines Mountains, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna kind of look at that. But I wanted to bring. Uh, Bring bring this thing in, and and kind of show you uh, the the coloration on this uh, this moon because it's just so beautiful. I hope uh, you guys had a good week. I've been patiently waiting to uh, uh, do the moon again. Mike and I. Uh, Mike has a farm. He, you know, he lives across the street from me, and and I I went out and picked up some goat food for him. And uh, we were talking about the oh something went across the <laughs> something. I'll call it a UFO, and somebody's going to say it's a bat. Well, I I tell you what, it might have been a bat, but my guess is it was probably a shadow. Uh, we we've looked. We've looked at these uh, things before, and we've actually been up close, and we've seen it contour the, the mountains, which means it's a shadow on the moon. But I'm not going to argue with anybody anymore about it. I'm just going to kind of show you what, what it looks like. Anyhow, Mike and I have been uh, doing this uh, together for quite a while, and uh, if the economy holds up, we're going to, Mike's going to get a, a 14 inch mead and I'll be uh, able to use it and when, when that happens if, if we actually get it the the close-ups that we get uh, of this moon will be actually incredible we'll get about eight times closer than we uh, than we can with this particular telescope so it should be remarkable and the other thing that I will do if, if that happens, uh, and we've been discussing this, I lost about five days this uh, 
this month just because of the uh, the porch. You know, I got that roof. Uh, there's my coastlands, and so we're we're thinking about extending my porch out of, over my trailer so I can have a a kind of a, a ramp to uh, to look at the moon without a a a, a porch lid, and that would be kind of neat. Let me turn the autofocus on again. Early in the uh, the session, when you're doing this, the atmospherics uh, are a little rough, and the higher the moon gets in the sky, the crisper the image. So, I'm going to kind of cut this off right now, put it on pause is what I'm going to do, and uh, we will uh, pick it up on the backside with uh, a. Uh, a closer clear image but I wanted to show you the color this this moon is just so so colorful and you can see the blues and the and the browns and the greens and uh, and that's just the way it is and e e even when you look at it from w with this harvest moon you can actually isn't that isn't that beautiful absolutely stunning we'll look at it closer and just a little bit hang with me guys we do have a slight cloud cover coming in around 3 a.m. Right now it's almost 1. I'm going to wait about 30 more minutes, maybe maybe 40 or maybe an hour, till it gets a little higher in the sky. And then I'm going to try to do some close-ups of the shadow line with a barlow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. This indeed is high adventure, high adventure, on a Sunday morning. It's going to be an all-nighter for Bill. Hang with me, guys. Okay, back, guys. Uh, it, it's it's still, you know, atmospherics. I'll show you in a minute how, how it does affect the image. But uh, I have something interesting to show you. First of all, the the uh, crater that I called Starbase does not have a shadow, and you can see my coastlines on on the far left. And let me zoom in so I can get rid of the uh, there, get rid of that, uh, and centered. Uh, centered right there is Aristillus. Aristillus, the big crater to the five o'clock position from Aristillus is called Archimedes. And the big crater on the to the left of Archimedes on the left side of the M of the screen is called Plato. Now w with the moon the way it is, and there's clouds coming in. I thought it would be perfectly clear, but it's not. But we're going to do our best. I'll show you how the atmospherics affect affect the image. As I zoom in, okay, and I, I'm doing this very specifically for a purpose to Aristillus. centered okay and look at that crater to the uh, to the 11 o'clock of Aristotle isn't that really weird you got a, a hornet nest crater with two little craters in the middle really really unusual I wanted to get in as close as I could on Aristillus even though it's not perfect and I'm gonna leave it sit there for uh, about 10 seconds. Uh, Mark in Thailand uh, is really very interested in Aristillus and he's going to uh, take this clip and uh, and then run it through some image processing software and create a photograph of it. You can do that. You can download these uh, directly from YouTube. 
uh, in the same quality. I'm, I'm recording at 1080p, so you're, you're getting a high, high quality image. And when you download it, then you, uh, you run it through uh, some uh, additional software. There, there's two programs. Um, I'm not going to get into to that right now, but you can. And what it does is it, 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 it makes frames of photos of of that and then and then basically it correlates them together and creates an image now what I'm going to show you right now this is so we're close we're so close and this is the best this this right here is a fantastic uh, picture right here the whole you got Archimedes on the bottom you got Aristotelus on the left and then you have the Apollo uh, landing site uh, just I'm going to show you I'm going to center right on the screen okay absolutely center Apollo 15 landing site uh, Apollo 15 uh, was uh, the one of the uh, the early moon or I guess late moon missions it was the first mission to use the rover on the moon and you can see it's uh, if you look at, at that mountain range that's the Alps the Apennines and exactly centered there there's a it's hard to see but that's a it looks like a big black shadow, but that that's a, a flat area right in there. It's like a it's like a horseshoe box canyon area, and that's that's exactly where the Apollo 15 landed. And I'm going to zoom in as best I can on that. I, I've done this before, but I've never had the shadow so good. Oops. And so you get in. You, you're you're just about about center. Now this is high adventure, guys. Uh, you're an astronaut on the moon, walking around in that valley, and you can actually see you can see the foothills of the mountains. If you look at the, where that shadow, that black, that area in the middle, that's a shadow. That's where the that's exactly where the uh, the Apollo 15 landed. Right there, you can see that uh, on that shadow line, that uh, that ridge that goes down to the right from that one on the on the northwest side. Uh, right at the at the at the base of that ridge and that shadow is exactly where the Apollo 15 uh, uh, landed. And this is probably as good a picture as you're ever going to get from an, a land-based uh, a land-based telescope. Now, see, this is the kind of uh, astronomy that uh, teachers should be using in the classroom. And and look at the mountains, and look at the look at that hornet nest crater right in the middle of those mountains. Isn't that an incredible shot? I mean, isn't that just absolutely incredible, guys? So look at that uh, that big crater right there. Uh, that big crater, by the way, that we're looking at is uh, Conon, C-O-N-O-N. -O -O -N. And uh, the Apollo 15 is to the uh, 11 o'clock of that in that shadow right at the kind of the, on that ridge. And, and, and since we're so close to it, I'm going to show you another thing. And let me center it. Luna 2 was the first spacecraft to ever, I mean, to ever land on the moon, Russian. And uh, isn't, isn't that incredible? Let me make, let me, uh, I'm losing it. I'm trying to, I'm going to put it on pause and get it back up there. Okay, uh, I'm back. Um, <laughs> I was pushing the button in the wrong direction. Just 
I get all excited and I, I start pushing the button the wrong way. Okay, if you look at Aristillus on the left and to the right of that, that little crater is called uh, Autolysius. I'm going to center where where Luna 2 landed exactly on the moon. See that mountain range? It's kind of like a little mountain range that's centered on the screen, okay? To see the plane to the left of that mountain range exactly centered in that plain area around those mountains on the far left and in the, in the center, exactly centered, that's where Luna 2 landed on the moon and that was the first, uh, the very first spacecraft to ever land on, it was crash landed on the moon. Now see this is the kind of stuff that you should be getting uh, on educational PBS TV. This is the kind of stuff when you go to science class or astronomy class in, in school, the, the, you know, the, the teacher should have been out in his backyard recording this kind of stuff and then hauling it into the classroom and playing the video so that his students can really learn something. Now th this is just absolutely terribly exciting. <laughs> I'm drinking my Starbucks coffee, and I'm I'm almost getting a a Starbucks high looking at at these things. Okay, uh, let let's do this. Let me back it out a little bit. I think this is uh, this is fun stuff, and that that's what astronomy is all about. It's just supposed to be fun, and uh, when you have a, a pretty good uh, telescope, you can really do something with it. Now, can you imagine if I get a if I get that Mead fourteen? It might get that Mead fourteen inch. And we go in there to the uh, to that you know right there centered uh, that Apollo uh, 15 landing site. We would we would be able to get in. It's it's hard to imagine, but 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 we would be able to get in eight times closer with clarity. See that that's the thing you you don't realize with clarity. And uh, and we might even be able to we, we wouldn't see it, but I mean we, we would be able to really get in there and see the very very minute details of that ridge. It's a good moon tonight for looking at, at things. Okay, I'm going to back up, and what I want to do now is I want to go up to the shadow line. And, and look at those Alps, aren't they really really neat? Really really neat, and. Uh, Let's kind of race to the right, and then we're going to kind of go slow, and we're going to we're going to work our way left on this moon. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to back it out one more time, and I'm going to turn the brightness down. Contrast down. Um, 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 I have Keller on, but the, the, the moon is, uh, some nights you can really see it and some nights you can't. And I think that turning the Keller down on, on this particular moon lets me bring more detail to you. Isn't that, a, isn't that beautiful, guys? Let me just sit on that for a second. We turn autofocus on and see if yeah, I don't think it was doing any better than my manual focus. Sometimes it you know it works. But there's our shadow line. This is a strange moon, guys. I I'm no expert at this stuff. As you know, I'm, I'm learning astronomy. I'm just a novice. I don't know anything. I didn't take any courses in college. I'm just kind of, as you, as you go learning, I'm going to let it kind of just kind of float left. 
so we can enjoy this at 1080p. This is your survey. It's just like you're you're in a spaceship now, and you're and you're uh, you're uh, kind of just gliding along, looking out the porthole at at the moon. And uh, a marvelous moon it is. And look at the look at the detail. If I see something really interesting, I'll zoom in. But can you imagine if we got a 14 inch, what we'd be able to see? Remember that video I did th three videos back. It was the I called it the Serpent Bridge. And you could actually see a, a, what looked like a snake bridge that kind of fell off into a crater. Now, can you imagine if we were looking at that with that Mead 14 inch? You would be able to see that crystal clear. I mean, absolutely crystal clear. Now this is some out, this is some outstanding uh, uh, video, guys. Matter of fact, I'm going to zoom in right here. See those two craters uh, coming up to the left of that. There's something that interests me. I'm always looking for strange things. Okay. See the lights in the back reflection off the, the the peaks of mountains and craters. Look at that crater right now centered. See it? I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Look at the bottom edge of that crater. And and look to the right of that crater. What what is that? I I really don't. Looks like some springs. It's just a strange. Strange shape. I'm I'm always looking for it's it's kind of centered. See what I'm talking right there. It's centered. It it just. You know, looks looks kind of strange. I'll leave it. I'll leave it stay close for just a minute and let it glide. Now, see, you see, if you had this image right here and you had that uh, program that you could capture from and, and run it through and enhance it and make a, a photo out of it, you can see the atmospherics how it goes in and out of focus every once in a while. Well, it, that program would actually correlate it all and make a perfectly crystal clear uh, picture of it. And anybody can do it with my videos. All you got to do is uh, uh, upload them to your PC and run them through. Edit out that clip and run it through as long as I was steady on it. Now, there's something else strange. I'm, I'm still close. Uh, it's hard to uh, bear with me, guys. I'm I'm working this uh, control. See that right there? What is that? Let me see if I can focus it better. Uh, sometimes I do more. See that thing right there? Let your imaginations uh, flow. It's a crashed spaceship, a, a crashed alien spaceship on the moon. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Sometimes I have fun with this stuff. Isn't this a beautiful moon? Look at the mountain range coming in on the left. You're still you're still gliding along on your in your spaceship. This is extremely extremely interesting I, I appreciate uh, all the comments I get a lot of comments in my videos and uh, and I have uh, on, on my Facebook you can befriend me if you want I my, my the gnome de club uh, is uh, Bill Bryson and I would uh, 
behind you. There's Aristillus coming up. That's the mountain range. The uh, matter of fact, see that crater on the on the left right there. And look at the detail. We're really getting some incredible detail. See how when you let the moon go higher, wouldn't it be neat if I could. Uh, uh, enhance my observatory with a kind of a a porch without a roof and that way I can go straight up because when it's right overhead straight up it's as close as it's ever going to be to the, uh, to the planet you'll get a you'll be closer isn't that a, incredible that's a hornet nest crater with two craters inside and you can see the shadows on those mountains to the left this should look spectacular on a 54 inch TV. You know a lot of TVs now that they're selling uh, have uh, come with uh, YouTube, you know, internet ready. And if you have that, you you would be able to watch these directly on those TVs. Uh, just uh, go to my uh, Jive Bop and uh, you know just watch it. There's that cut. Let me center the cut. See right there that cut. Early on, uh, when we were looking at all this stuff, we were, matter of fact, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Let's see the shadow line, but I'm going to bring that cut right in centered. See that cut? We were speculating on what that might be. Of course, it's just uh, some kind of a large explosion that cut cut into the mountains, a big ass crater, um, uh, asteroid, or whatever. See how you can see some unusual detail in the shadow line. Okay, let, let's uh, let's go down. I don't want this to be uh, extremely long. Uh, I'm still, I'm not as close as I can be, but I'm pretty close. Not quite zoomed up. I just want to kind of do a circumference. the edge. Matter of fact, let's zoom back out so we get a better idea where we're at. See, it looks like you're just riding around in a spaceship. There's Escartes right there. Matter of fact, this is such a good moon. Let's just, for grins, see how close we can get to this one. And you can see the mountain range. That thing actually landed on a mountain range. And let me try autofocus now. Yeah. It seems like the, the things at the bottom of the uh, moon tonight are not as clear. Let me back out. That thing landed on a mountain range, so it's actually up in the air. I think it's above surface. It's an above surface crater. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Let me turn up the color just a little bit. Kind of brings out the blues that are there and the and I guess so. Uh, I'll finish this up. Let me turn brightness up. At the base of the Alps, be a good place right there. And let's zoom in. What a shot.
what a absolutely stunning shot. I'll zoom, continue to zoom. And see that there's the spine, the Alps. And I'll back out. You can see how, you know, you still have your atmospherics. It's not a perfect night, but. But it's pretty good. And let's turn the brightness up. Okay. Good session. Good session. I hope you enjoyed it. Watch it on a big screen TV. You can uh, play it on your MacBook or your Windows machine and plug HDMI directly into your uh, your flat screen. Watch it on TV. It really really looks great. In the meantime, I wish you and yours clear skies, guys.